and I'm going to show you the shelter under threat. And um, hi guys. Um, okay. Oh, sun. I can't see anything I'm recording right now, so I hope I'm doing this right. Anyway, we are back in Israel and we are going out to buy some stuff because um, all out war is about to uh, start, at least that's what they tell us, and we need to get ready and so we're going to buy some stuff and I thought why not take you with us because, you know, just to see the vibe, what's going on, what's happening and um, yeah. so. Come with us and I hope everything will be okay and that we come home safely and um, yeah. Oh, now I see myself. Not good enough though because I'm without my glasses. Anyway, see you soon. Usually at this time of um, the evening, this town is pretty lively. Right now, from what I can see, ugh, not so much. I can understand that. It's it's you know it's a situation. There's a doggy looking at me. Hey, doggy boy. <laughs> Anywho, um, so yeah, let's. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> hey! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Actually, I'm quite surprised because some people are having their drinks, uh, as you can see. And um, so I guess it's like, I told you, these people are super resilient. Um, so, kudos to them. I, I, I'm not built that way, I think. So, that remains to be seen. Anyway, let's, uh, let's continue. So there's another thing I want to show you on the way to the shop and I'm in a playground here for kids of all ages and let me show you something. So this is the playground. We've got loads and loads of different uh, rides and whatever and then right here there is a shelter and I'm going to show you the shelter and this is so the kids have a place to come and play and live as normal a life as possible even though they are under threat. And um, so this, is, this would be the door, right? And this is how it looks from the inside. That window over there is um, bomb proof. There's an air system, electricity system. And this is exactly what it looks like. And I think right now the order is not to lock the door behind you in order to let other people in. Um, in case, you know, people are just, or kids are just running down the street. 
looking for shelter, so always leave the door just a tad open. Unless the place is full, completely full, so yeah, this is nice here. I think um, the most important thing here is to try and maintain normality in a completely abnormal situation. And that means that you can't let children just hide the entire day for months and months and months. You need to get them to school, you need to get them to kindergarten, you need to get them playing outside, having social interactions. Also for parents, I mean, and just generally people. So, I think what they came up with is these um, mobile shelters. Here, is, here it is again. It's another shelter. Door open. And here is the playground with some weird rides here. When I say weird, this is what I mean. <laughs> when I was a kid, things like this didn't exist. That's a cool seesaw though. See, when I was a kid, you didn't have these protective bump thingies here. These. You just smashed against the ground. You also have these um, sport like public sport thing is going on there's a lot of this in israel i've seen them everywhere people are encouraged to do sports uh usually adults actually do sports here but right now it's empty i think because it's so hot that's better got out of the sun the blazing sun might i add so a little bit of shade in august mm. always a good idea I needed some air conditioning, so I came in here for a while. Five minutes later. Mm, I love some frozen yogurt. <laughs> Definitely less people than usual. So at last we have arrived at the shop that I was looking for, where I think, I hope I can find some emergency electrical things like batteries, like, I don't know, emergency lighting. Let's see. often ask me um, what would you do if a siren started while you're walking down the street filming whatever 
And my answer is always the same. I don't know. I would do what everybody else does. I would look for shelter. I would, I don't know, run into one of the buildings. <laughs> I have no idea. I would just go wherever everybody else goes. I, it's my responsibility. I chose to stay here during this time, to be in Israel during this time. And therefore I will act like any other Israeli and do what other people do, I suppose. Probably I'll panic, but I don't know. I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. Start by showing you some stuff that we got, um, just in case we need to, I don't know, stay in the shelter or stay at home and not leave the house or whatever. So let's start with this. A bunch of toilet paper. Obviously, who doesn't need toilet paper? We all need toilet paper. So a bunch of water. So there's, uh, it's two six packs and then we have like two more bottles. So we got a bunch of snacks. I know it's ridiculous, but so now I'm going to show you what we got today. So I got this little uh, radio transistor radio, right? Look. <laughs> oh man, what am I doing here? Anyway, so uh, this actually we tried it and surprisingly enough, it works. You can actually get um, some stations, more than one on this little thing. Uh, these are the batteries that it uses, so it has some inside and these as well. Flashlight. Anyway, so flashlight as well. Hopefully we won't need it. 24 hours later. Hi guys. Okay, so now I want to uh, show you the last thing that I bought. And it is a um, uh, portable light that runs on um, a battery that is rechargeable and it can work to i think up to 24 hours then it needs to be recharged again but it's pretty cool right 24 hours is nice and the price was pretty okay compared to the others so let me show you so right now it's being charged and you see there's like three sort of rows of lights if you leave only one on, like only this one on, then it will hold up to 24 hours. If you leave two of them on, 15 hours. And if you leave three of them on, seven and a half hours. But I don't think you need the whole three. One is enough. So, yeah. I think that's pretty good buy. I mean, I do hope that doesn't happen and we don't really need that. But in case we do, it's good to have. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Like because you liked, only if you really liked. And subscribe is because, you know, I want to make more videos and I enjoy, you know, having subscribers. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. Um, a battery that is rechargeable and uh, it can uh, light. My stomach is not okay. Just boo. Ooh, don't you love these? Ah, I love it.